The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th Canto, 9th Chapter, Text Number 9, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on February 16th, 1976, in Mayapur, India. Translation The Lord Maharaj continued to offer his prayers as follows. I consider that a person who is possessed of all riches, born in an aristocratic family, by bodily luster and by beauty, by austerity, by education, by expert activities, by effulgence, by influence, by bodily strength, historical activities, intelligence, and mystic yoga power, by all these qualifications, nobody can worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but simply by devotional service, as it was done by Gajendra. Thus the Lord was satisfied upon him. Manne dhanadhi janarupa tapasutoja Seja prabhava balo Pauhita buddhi yoga Naradhanaya bhavanti parasya punsho Bhaktyat tusha bhagavan gajadu tapaya <clears throat> so, Bhagavad Bhakti uh, is not dependent on any material uh, position. Material position, the description is fully given here. Uh, if one is very rich, no, no. Uh, he cannot think that I can become a devotee of the Lord. Because Hirana Kasipu possessed the riches of the whole universe, but he could not become a devotee. So this is misconception that because I am very rich, I am very beautiful, I am very intelligent, I am a great scholar, I am a very prestigious person, and so on, so on. There are so many things. But Prahlad Maharaj says, no, nothing of these items can help you to be promoted to the transcendental platform of devotional service. Only bhakti. And Krishna also says, in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhaktya Mahamadijanati. He never said that by karma, by gyan, by job, nothing. There are four things for elevation. Karma, jnana, yoga, and lastly bhakti. Bhakti is the ultimate goal. Karma, you cannot become perfect if it is not mixed up with bhakti. That is called karma-yoga. Jnana itself is useless unless it is added with bhakti. That is called jnana-yoga. Similarly, hatha yoga every yoga, everything is yoga, karma-yoga, jnana-yoga, dhyana-yoga, hatha yoga but yoga means connection, link up with the Supreme. Then it is karma yoga, dhyana yoga, jnana yoga. When this yoga becomes completely pure, then without karma, without jnana, without mystic power, that is called pure yoga. So that pure yoga means love of God. Uh, Krishna is my Lord, I am Krishna's servant. Uh, this much understanding, the eternal servant of Krishna, so my life is for Krishna, therefore uh, all my activities should be simply directed for the benefit of Krishna. This is called pure yoga. And uh, 
platform of Krishna says that Joginavapi Sarvesam Madhvata Antaratmana Sadhyavan Bhajati Jumam Sami Jukta There are many types of yogis, but the yogi who is always thinking of Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Yes. So they are first class yogis. Even they are just like Pullar Maharaj. Huh? He was first class yogi because he was always thinking of Krishna, Narayana. And he was not afraid of his father's punishment, chastisement. Pallad uh, Maharaj analyzes that these things cannot help you. If you think that I am very rich man, I can purchase God. Uh, generally they think so, that by riches one can purchase God. <coughs> then dhanar abhijana. Abhijana means aristocratic climate. Uh, big connection with big, big men. That is called Avija. Uh, that is Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami was minister. So uh, he was connected with very big, big families. Takta Turnam Ase Samandalapati Sani. This Rupa Goswami gave up this aristocratic position. Because he was a minister, his connection with big, big jamindas, big, big businessmen, big, big nawab, he could not mix with ordinary men. <coughs> but he gave up everything. There is the same example as Prahlad Maharaj said, Abhijana. Ah. These are useless. Ah. Rupa Goswami gave example. Tattva Kuru Namasi Samandala Patisani Sada Tuchava. Tuchava, eh? It has no value. Insignificant. Give up. The same line. This is called disciplic succession. Many millions of years, the Prahlad Maharaj said that Obhijana, by these things you cannot achieve the platform of devotional service. And many, many millions of years after, so Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami also showed the same example. Prakta atu namasi samandala patisani sada tucha. This is called parampara system. Not that millions of years ago, Pallad Maharaj, what he did, that is now gone. Now something new should be introduced. No. It cannot be changed, even millions of years now. This is called parampara system. Krishna said, millions of years ago, I spoke this Bhagavad Gita yoga process to sun god. Imanga vivasati yogam praktavan aham. The same aham Krishna, he spoke millions and trillions of years ago to sun god. So, nothing new. Krishna consciousness is not a new manufactured method. No. Uh, it is the oldest. So, uh, Pudar Maharaj also the same thing. Rupa. Rupa means personal beauty. Hmm? I am very beautiful that Krishna will be attracted. Uh, Krishna has many, many thousands of beautiful wives and friends. In Vrindavan, he has many, many beautiful girlfriends.